mammoth sunflower in a pot. Absurd? Am I losing your faith as a viewer? I just wanted to try, okay? I know it's weird. I'm an experimental gardener. If you're not doing your own garden experiments, can you even really call yourself a gardener? We all know what sunflower seeds look like. We bake with them, birds love them, truckers eat them salted till their fingers swell up. But do you know how to plant them well? Sunflower seeds are always best direct sowed after frost. Now, here's a hack. It's a little embarrassing, but you can actually take a little starter pot if you want to start them indoors and transplant them. I do this because I live in zone 4A, zone 4A challenges. If you don't have to do this, don't. But what you can do is plant it indoors in a little starter pot, and then when you're ready to transplant, just cut the bottom off and place it into the larger pot that you're transplanting it into. Minimal root disturbance, and they, they can start to spread. Sunflowers have a tap root, so they really don't like being disturbed or moved from place to place. That's what I do. You can also get those biodegradable pots, like the Quar they have now, um, the ones that dissolve in the soil. I just tend to have trouble with those for some reason. I don't know what my problem is. Shame on me. The other really important thing about sunflowers is the spacing. Six inches apart is important, and one to two inches deep. Sunflowers grow best in full sun, shocker, and uh, rich soil like compost. Preferably something high in uh, potassium and phosphorus for the flowering purposes. Sunflowers are very heavy feeders, so it's good to have an organic compost put into your ground or pots for them. The other thing is mulching is really beneficial. Uh, they really don't like competing with weeds, so mulching is a great way to avoid that even having to happen. Wood chips or straw are awesome options. Okay, so. You planted your seeds, you put in some compost, you sang in a sweet song, <laughs> you spaced it properly, a week goes by, boom, they start to pop up. Woohoo! You're home free, right? Wrong. Here's your new problem. Sunflower shoots are delicious. Squirrels and birds love sunflower shoots, so you have to find a way to cover them. Don't skip this step. They will get eaten. Plastic pop bottle kind of cut and put on top works pretty well. Some people have created really cool wire mesh uh, screens that they kind of put on and remove. Uh, you have to kind of get creative with it sometimes. Once the seedlings get high enough to reach your cover, obviously take it off so that they can keep growing. And you should be okay after that point. It's really awesome to plant sunflowers in groups just so they have a little bit more wind support. Aside from the beauty factor, that's a really good idea. At the budding stage, like this Miss Mammoth over here, sunflowers are heliotropic. That means that they literally move their heads east to west with the sun from morning to evening. Here's something really neat about sunflowers if you're at all into botany. Okay, these petals, most people call them, are actually called ray florets, okay? Each one of these petals is actually one flower. So this lemon queen here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever, flowers. And then this center part, most people just call it the center of the sunflower, is actually made up of many, 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 many teeny little flowers called disc florets. The other thing that's interesting is these are sterile. They're just pollination attractors, that's their purpose, and the disc florets have both sexual parts, so this is where the magic happens. When you want to save the seed, um, you have to kind of wait till the sunflower is drooping and all the petals have fallen off, and you can cut it before it's completely dried off. Here's one that I did recently. See the back of this uh, seed head is still kind of green, um, so it's not completely dry yet. So I'm not going to save the seed right now, I'm still letting it dry. And you can see when I rub my hands along it, some of the little disc florets are coming off and the seeds are behind that. But if the sunflower is dry enough to, to get the seeds out, the seeds should just kind of pop out when you rub your hand along them. Otherwise it's not ready yet, okay? 
so I'm going to give this guy a little more time. And for the record, this was a variety called Cinnamon Sun. Keep your eye out for bees landing on them. Sometimes they'll stay a while. Sometimes they sleep in there. Oh, it's so cute. Now check this out. I was walking the other day and I saw this and I had to take a photo. Can you say Community Hub? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos like this. They come out every Friday. Sunflower dance. Sunflower dance.